Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Trish Magni DIY and I am Trish here. Namaskar, how can you channel Trish Magni DIY? So guys, another day, another video. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. I make DIY video lifestyle, lifestyle like things which make life simple, easy and fabulous. So if you are new to my channel, then welcome and if you are regular, then again, thank you so much for being there with me and welcome back again. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please go and subscribe to my channel and of course this is for free. So just please go and subscribe. So guys, if you haven't even checked my Instagram, then go and check there. The link is down below. I make other video than rather making YouTube video. There are some funny content that you might enjoy. So go and check that out. So guys, as today is Wednesday, we are back with a video where we have to talk about lifestyle or things so today we are going to talk about some beauty hacks yes this hacks are something that i have been using for a very long time also i have done my own research and the things that i have learned from great expert people and i really do use them in my day-to-day -day life so if you want these tips is a great tip so go and check this video let's get into it so let me get into the first thing first if you want to take care of your hair during this rainy season and when it's very humid your hair used to be very very frizzy and also it breaks and also the thing is just when it's very hot and we sweat we lose a lot of amount of hair so there's some tricks when you comb your hair don't comb your hair from the top of your head but start from the bottom of your head go in slowly and slowly and then till the top of your head so that the way when you comb your hair you will head your hair will not pull the scalp then you will not have a lot of hair loss so this is a way you know even after washing your hair go slowly from the tip and slowly 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 towards the upper and that way you can prevent hair fall another tip for hair when you go to wash your hair don't use a conditioner in the top of your head i hope most of you know that so when you use it when you wash your hair before that use the conditioner on the tip of your root and keep it there for 10 minutes after that wash your hair with your regular shampoo mild shampoo the other tip that i'm going to give you for hair never rub your hair when you use your towel never do that never when you do that you're going to break your hair and it will give you split ends which is like no no never do that instead of dab your hair with the towel so next tip is for our eyes i used to use a lot of eye makeup well i'm not very expert in eye makeup but i used to use but after removing your eye makeup always massage your eyes there is a proper way of massaging your eyes when you use an eye cream use in this manner and massage in a circular form 10 times and then anti-clockwise 10 times so that your eyes will not feel that you know tiredness because after we clean our eyes we get kind of tired in your eyes area so use that massage your eyes if you have tired eyes or if you have dark circles the best tip is to use aloe vera gel aloe vera gel will really help you to cool your eye area and it will keep it really really smooth and soft and you can use the aloe vera gel before washing your face in the morning or taking a shower you can keep your aloe vera gel under your eye and then after that you can wash it away the third tip for eye is if you have puffy eyes then why don't you keep your spoon you can use your silver spoon or your steel spoon and keep it in the fridge for at least 10 minutes use them under your eyes and your puffiness will go away so let's get into lips so guys tip for your lips is after you brush your teeth use the same brush and then just rub above your lips in that way it will prevent cracking it will soften your lips also and it will also give you a very nice moisturized lips you can use honey wax to keep your lips soft and you can scrub it with sugar and a little bit of honey together and then rub it and scrub it so that your lips will be soft and no cracks the third tips for your lips is that use a lip balm before using a matte lipstick use your lip balm and keep it for some time before using your matte lipstick uh, when you're about to apply your matte lipstick just remove your lip balm and then you will not get the crack or the dryness which you might feel while using a matte lipstick for your face skin let me tell you one thing i am supposed to get wrinkled at this age but i am trying to prevent that so my tip for you is that use 
a sunscreen. Sunscreen is must whether you're in or you're out. Sunscreen is a must. There are so many products in the market, but all the sunscreen may not suit your skin. Massaging your face is very important. So when you are using your moisturizer or your serum, massage your face properly. The third tip for your skin is must. Night cream is a must. Use a night cream before going to bed because your skin really need that moisturizer while you sleep. So do not forget to use your night cream. And after 25, it's a must, my dear. Now let's get into perfume. There is a thing called too much perfume. Trust me. When you apply, when you use perfume, you should also know what kind of perfume suits you. All the kind of perfume, it doesn't mean the perfume that I use and smells good on me will smell good on you too. No, it's a wrong thing. So when you use a perfume, use it here, behind your ear or on your hair. Behind your ear or on your hair because it will stay for very long. Plus, use your perfume here on your wrist. But never rub your perfume after use. The third tip for perfume is that if you're using the perfume and it has the same body lotion, then use that. It will last your perfume. So these are my tips and tricks. I hope it will help you. I'll see you next time with a new video. Till then, you take care of yourself. Bye-bye.